program structure is important to understand for CNC programming. Knowing all the G codes and M codes are necessary for writing a program. However, CNC programs are not just made up of G codes and M codes. The word address format that we introduced with G code applies to the entire program. For instance, whether we are using G code, M code, or another alphanumeric combination to create commands, we need to remember that these words need to follow rules. The words are a combination of one letter and one or more digits. We can even supplement some of these words by means of a symbol like a minus sign or a decimal. Each word address refers to a specific register of control memory. Remember that the letter in the word address must always be written first. If we neglect to place the letter first, then the computer's comprehension of the word can be misunderstood or misapplied. For instance, the numerical values with or without decimals or negative signs are used after every letter that is allowed. Since the numbers can be used after any letter, we want to make sure that the letter is written first so that the machine knows what to do with the following numerical values. For example, I can send the machine to X30, but I can also call up an M30. Without the letter being written first, the machine does not know what to do with the 30. G codes are called preparatory commands. M codes are called miscellaneous functions. Both of these letter designations are needed to write a program. Besides G and M, there are other letters that the machine can read. What other letters can we use to provide commands? D is the offset number selection. X, Y, and Z are the coordinate letters. N is the sequence number. H allows us to create a tool length offset. F is used to create a feed rate. S is used to write a spindle speed. T is used to create a tool function. And A, B, and C are coordinate words for rotary axes. I, J, and K are arc center modifiers. They are used when we need to describe a location on an X, Y, and Z axis without using the letters X, Y, or Z. I is the arc center modifier for the x-axis. J is the arc center modifier for the y-axis. And K is the arc center modifier for the z-axis. We will go into more detail on these letters later. L is the fixed cycle repetition count for subprograms. O is the program number. It is only used once in a program, right at the beginning. P has a number of uses depending on where it is found in a program. It is used as a dwell time or can be used as a sub-program number, among other uses. Q is peck depth in pecking cycles. R is retract in CAN cycles and is also used as a radius designation when creating circular features. Aside from letter addresses and numbers, we can also use the following symbols. A decimal is used for describing the fractional part of a number. Plus signs for positive values are not required. Negative signs for negative values are always required when needed. An asterisk 
is only used as a multiplication sign in control macros. The backslash symbol is a block skip or a division sign in Fanuc control macros. Parentheses, that would be rounded brackets, are used to place information in that you don't require the machine to read. For instance, if you call up tool number one with T01, you can then use parentheses to let the machine operator know that this tool is, for instance, a four flute end mill. Anything you write in parentheses, the computer cannot read. The percent sign is a flag and comes at both the beginning and the end of the program. The semicolon is the end of block symbol and must be used at the end of each block created. Now that we have a more complete list of the word address system and available commands, let's go over the three phases of a CNC program using these codes.